Have you ever heard of Giannotti Crosti syndrome? It's quite the mouthful, isn't it? This syndrome, often shortened to GCS, is a rare skin condition that predominantly affects children under 10 years old. So what happens when a child has Giannotti Crosti syndrome? Well, it begins when the body reacts to certain viruses, such as hepatitis B, among others. This reaction triggers a rash, characterized by small red bumps. These bumps can be itchy and painful, causing discomfort for the little ones. The rash typically starts on the face and can spread to the arms, legs, and trunk. Now, you might be wondering, how can one tell if it's giannotti crosti syndrome and not just a common rash? That's where doctors come into play. They can diagnose GCS by examining the rash and conducting some tests. The silver lining in all this is that GCS usually resolves on its own within a few weeks. But what if the itching is causing too much distress to the child? In such cases, a doctor might suggest using medicine to alleviate the itching and help the child feel more comfortable. While giannotti crosti syndrome is generally not a serious condition, it's crucial to remember that in very rare cases it might be linked to hepatitis. So, if you ever suspect that a child could have GCS, it's advisable to visit a doctor to get it checked out and ensure it's nothing severe. In summary, giannotti crosti syndrome is a rare skin condition that affects children under 10 caused by the body's reaction to certain viruses. It presents as a rash of small red, itchy, and painful bumps that start on the face and can spread to other parts of the body. Diagnosis is through visual examination and tests, and while the condition typically resolves on its own, medication might be prescribed to soothe the itchiness. And although GCS is generally not serious, it's always best to consult a doctor if you suspect a child might have this syndrome. giannotti crosti syndrome may not be a household name, but understanding it can make a world of difference for those little ones who might be affected. Knowledge is power, after all.